Well, I am super excited. We just got a shipment, something really exciting here in the trunk of the car. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get it out and we're gonna show you what it is in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back everyone. My name is Patrick, I'm so glad you stopped by. Now, if you have been following our channel since, well, March of 2020, you know that we purchased rad e-bikes, the folding style. And honestly, over the last three years, we love them, but we just haven't used them a lot. And the reason we haven't used them is it's not that they're not great bikes. What we found was, even though they're the folding bikes, they were still pretty big and bulky and heavy. So recently, Electric reached out to us and said, hey, we have a folding bike that's pretty light and we think might work better for your RV lifestyle. And we'd like to send you a couple bikes and some accessories so you can give them a try and decide for yourself. So I said, why not? Because we really want to be able to take our bikes with us when we go RVing. And if the electric bike is lighter and maybe a little bit smaller package, then it might be the perfect fit for us. So they have sent us a couple bikes. They have sent us a dog trailer for Truman and Bess so I can hitch it up to our bike and take them with us and a few accessories. So. I'm not going to bore you with the actual opening of the boxes, but I will do a quick time lapse as I open up the bike box and I'll let you see that. Well, there we go. That was quick. Now, I will tell you that this was packaged really well. I'm really impressed. Our Rad was also packaged really well. In fact, throughout this video, I'm gonna to try to compare the two for you since I've experienced both. Um, so packaging on both, great. I can already tell you just by lifting this, it is definitely lighter than our Rads. Now, the tires are a little smaller, they're not as wide, but this is their XP light. It is designed for, well, people like Patty and I who are RVers and we want something light and we're getting a little older, we'll be able to lift it easier in and out of the car or in and out of the truck. Um, but I, here's where the real advantage was. This was basically assembled. The only thing I had to do was put the handlebar into the post and then tighten it. Everything else was put together. Now, three years ago, I remember being in the garage for quite a while because there was some assembly required with the rat. So if you're looking for a bike that will get you out going quickly, um, this one definitely was a lot quicker because it came basically fully assembled. Now, I just looked at the manual and it says the first thing we need to do is fully charge the battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the bike charging tonight so that tomorrow we can finish adding some accessories to it. We'll get the pet carrier put together and installed and then we're gonna put this bike to the test. So it's been a couple weeks since I unboxed that first bike. And so now we've had a couple weeks to get out and ride these bikes and really explore them. So what I wanna do with this video is not go through a real in-depth. There's tons of videos out there that go really into depth on specs and things like that. I just kinda wanna share with you our thoughts on the electric X-Lite versus the RADs that we have. Now, I will tell you right up front, we, are loving these because of, well, the weight. This bike comes in at 46 pounds. Compare that to our Rads that came in at 69 pounds. And so Patty can actually pick this bike up herself. And that fact alone is why we are loving these because now these are a much more manageable weight, not only for riding purposes, but also for loading and unloading out of the truck, which means we're gonna be taking them with us when we go RVing, and that's something we hadn't been doing with our RADs. Now, this is still the folding bike, and they do fold down just a touch smaller than the RADs did, and there are some differences besides just the weight. Because we went with the X-Lite version, this is a single gear, so we don't have the seven gears like we had had before. But understand that Electric sells variations of their bikes, and if you're looking for something where you do have some gears that you can do some shifting with, they will have a bike that would work for you potentially. But because this is their X-Lite, it's designed to keep that weight down. It's a single gear. Now, I have to be honest, when we had our RADs, we had the gears, and we never, we never shifted. So to us, it was no big deal. But 
this still has all the power assist features. It still has power assist from zero, which means no assist. And because of the weight of this bike, I can actually ride this without the power assist on if I want to. And then we have levels one through five for the power assist. And what I have found is the motor on this is very, let's just say perky. It gets up and goes pretty darn quick. And so most of the time I've been riding, I have been riding in either power level one or two. The only time I've shifted really high is if I'm going up a real steep hill. So really like that. Now, Electric also sent us some upgrades with this bike. And number one is the comfort package, which is the seat. This is an extra squishy seat, but more importantly, it has suspension built into the seat. And so as you're riding, you can actually feel yourself moving up and down, making for a much smoother ride. Another upgrade they sent us was the carry package, which came with the fenders on the front and the back of the bike. And I actually like those fenders because that way if you're riding in mud or stones, it just kind of helps keep things down and not flying up. It also came with this really nice cargo rack and it also has a soft-sided bag that goes on this so we can take cargo if we want. They also sent us a couple other accessories that you can add to your bike if you want and one is this phone holder and I love this. It just pulls down to slide my iPhone in and then there's a simple lock on the back, locks our phone into place and that way if we want our phones for navigation or to listen to music it's right there for us. They also sent us this convenient lock that just installs on the back of the bike and that way if we're riding someplace we want to get off and want to secure our bike we have a lock right here on the bike they have lots of accessories through electric that you can actually upgrade if you want but these are just a few they ask us to try out and so far we're absolutely loving them now we did add a mirror after the fact and if you look on their website they do sell mirrors we actually just picked these up out at walmart um, and they're working fine for us i wished i would have realized that we could have ordered a couple um, for our electric bikes directly from them, but these are working just fine. Now, as far as the actual display screen, it is easy to read. Um, compared to the Rad, it's honestly maybe a touch better. I just like the, the size of it and the shape of it, and it gives me the information I want. It lets me know how fast we're going. It lets me know how many miles we've ran. And in big, at the top, I can see exactly how much battery I have left. And speaking of the battery, this is a little different than our rad our rad had an external battery that was outside of the bike and with this it's actually enclosed right in here but we can access it when we unfold the bike we can actually pull out that battery and there's two reasons i think that's important number one in the winter months if we're not going to be using the bikes i can pull the battery out take it inside keep it in a warm environment that's going to help the battery life and number two if I wanted to, I could order another battery, and that way if we're on a really long ride, I could pull one battery out, put another battery in, and extend the, the life. Now, how far will this bike go? Well, according to their literature, up to 40 or 45 miles. Now, a lot of battery life on these bikes really just has to do with how are you gonna ride it? If you're gonna always be in power assist five or you're just gonna throttle the whole way, well, you may only get 20 or 25 miles. But if you're using it maybe at power assist zero, one, two, then you're gonna get a lot more miles. And only time will tell how this does with the battery for us and, and how well these hold up. And we'll come back in another year and do a one year follow up on the bikes. But I can, like I said, right now, we are in love. In fact, we are so in love with these bikes, we've already sold our Rad bikes. Now again, that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with Rad. They just weren't the right bikes for us. And we knew within the first week here that these were right for us and we found a buyer for our rad. So we went ahead and sold them and we're gonna be using this. Now, one of the options you can get is this dog carrier for your electric bike. And I wasn't even sure if we could hook up a dog carrier to an electric bike and how that might impact it. But they actually have one that you can get. And so they sent us this as well. And we weren't sure how Truman and Bess were going to react, but so far they seem to like it. In fact, Truman, every time we come outside, runs right up to the carrier like he wants to get in. Now, I really like how this is designed. Um, in the front, you have nice mesh that can be open, but you also then have this clear plastic, almost like a window, that if it's raining out or there's a lot of debris that might be getting kicked up, you can protect the kiddos there. There's a second opening right here on the top so we could allow them some fresh air or just a way to drop a smaller pup in there. And then finally here on the backside, 
of it, we have more mesh, and this is where we've been putting Truman and Bess in. It also has the reflector so people can see us from behind. It comes with the flag for easy identification, reflectors on the front, and it has these wheels that you can remove. Um, it's a very simple process to put the carrier down for travel purposes. There is just a pin on the inside. We'll go ahead and we can remove the pin. One support here to go down, and then you can see, take the, that out, and it just folds down. We can remove the two wheels. Um, remove it from the bike with a pin, and it's going to be really easy to travel with this. And that way, Truman and Bess get to go with us anywhere we go biking. Have we used it with Truman and Bess? Absolutely. In fact, Patty's even taken the kiddos out, and because of the electric motor, she has no issues pulling them. Now, this carrier, I believe, is rated for up to 50 pounds. Truman and Bess combined in there only comes out to about 38 pounds. They both fit in there and they seem to really enjoy riding with us. Now I should mention that one of the differences between these bikes and our rads besides the gearing is the fact that these do have a little bit smaller tire on it. So we have noticed with the smaller tire that it's not quite as grippy riding around the RV park here where there's gravel roads as with our rads because those were a much wider, thicker tire, but that was part of what was adding to the weight of the bike. But what we have found is the smaller tire, a little bit narrower, still has good grip, and it works fine for us. The bikes come with a charger, and there's just a port here on the side. You remove the rubber cap, plug in the charger, plug it into an outlet, and within a few hours, you can charge your battery back up. In terms of folding this bike up or putting it back together, really easy. And in fact, in some ways, this bike actually is easier to fold and unfold than our rads because of the mechanisms they use. So here we just have a lever. We just slide and pull and that releases that. And all I have to do is bend the bike. They do have a rest. So when it's in the folded position, it'll set there. Now, right here is where your battery is. And I want to pull that out. And you can see that is what the battery looks like. Now, if you have it in the lock position, then it's going to stay in there even when you fold it up. I actually had it in the unlock position because I wanted to take this out and show you. And then to finish folding the bike, on the side here we have that same latch. I just kind of pull up and down, and then my handlebar is going to fold up just like that. And you can see here, this is a fairly small package in terms of space. And then what I can do is I can actually lower my seat quickly and there we go. And just so you know, Electric Bike did reach out to us and send us the bikes and the carrier to us at no charge so we could try them out. But we are not being paid to do this review. And the fact that we went ahead and sold our rads, I think should make a pretty strong statement about how we feel about these bikes so far. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link down below in the description of this video so you can go to the Electric website and check out all the e-bikes that they offer so you you can find out if there might be one right for you. Until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Bye.